hello everyone welcome to tina voda shop so this is the third live that we have today and i am gonna use glado to do a 3d rose let me show you so this is my vision so far so it's kind of romantic with french tip for valentine but a little bit of shading with burgundy so this is what i demonstrated today and i show you the whatsapp group if you haven't joined the group this is a group where you can join for free to get alert from me every time i go on live and anytime that i have a coupon code for any sale i will post it on there or anytime i have new product i will post it on there and let me put on my website also everything that i use is at www.tinovo.shop. I will post it on here and pin the comments. All right, ready, Dustin? Okay. Just request it. Put this up here. <clears throat> the ring fingers, I will make make the metal so that wouldn't be too crazy. But the so I just have to mirror this one easy. But this one, I want to do something a little different. So that's a little adventure right there. Adventures. Okay. Did you moderate anyone? Oh, oh, um, let me moderate Tara. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I need cream nude apply on all the nails. I would do this uh two coats for each nails. Good afternoon, evening, morning, everyone. Just give the universal hello. Hello everyone. Hope you have a good new year so far. No, man, you're such a talented soul. You're the best nail tech I've ever seen. Thank you. And I've seen a lot. You're my absolute favorite. Okay. Thank you. Hello, nail addiction one, two, three. Hi, nail addiction. <laughs> Wonder if it's cold where you live. Good. Well, okay. we live, we're not so far away. It's so cold. It's like 30 degrees yesterday. It's like in the twenties. In the twenties, it was really cold yesterday. <laughs> Hello, Renita. Hi, Renita. Renita sounds like a fine wine. Yes. Like a bottle of your best, Renita. Hello, Peaches Get Gilbert. It. Okay, one more coat. She said it's 35 degrees there, so nice and warm. So that's nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, this is when the cold really hit. I'm so envious of Australian right now. Australian right now are warm. It's been summer there. But outside, chasing butterfly, kill this. Hello, Vina. Oh, Vina Houston? No. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Vina. 
Don't say it less exciting. <gasps> when I put it in, I actually bump onto the other nails. Tragedy. Tragedy. Whenever this happens to you, fill in a little bit here and then here. Well, thank you, hereby Anthony, because he's from Hoboken, New Jersey, and has a lot of his clients hooked on you. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna put the. I'm not gonna put the second toe on these two yet because I might do an ombre, a pink and white ombre. So I'm gonna leave it for later. Right now, I'm just gonna pop in the French tip, art gel. This one. We are currently in Aurora, Missouri. Yeah. <coughs> well, we watched RuPaul the other day, and I'm surprised how many drag queens are end up from Missouri know, that right? are like to the top. <laughs> really? like, I'm very proud of Missouri. Yeah. The show me stay, which is not really what that really means. Cause like. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm from the show me state. It's, that's, it's not, not really what that means in their favor. Hello, Hello Tanisha Kennedy. Hi, Welcome Tanisha. To First time I'm watching. Ah. Good day, Ladybug. Hi, Ladybugs. Here this. Okay, mm hot -hmm. gel, take it out. 10 millimeter brush. This one, make sure it's clean. Gosh, where do you say this? 58 degrees in Florida. Ugh. Oh my Lord, 58 degrees. Ugh, that is so cold. I feel so bad for you. All this weather, this tragedy. <laughs> How can you even go to the beach with 50 degree weather? I'm so glad that we trap here with 20 degree weather. At least it's not that tempting, you know, 20 degree, like we're not going outside. 50, <laughs> you're like, mm, do we have a chance? No. <laughs> okay, now. So, gonna slant it here and they're gonna slant it all the way up here. God, I wish I'd been for that right now. It's so nice. You know that that would be a cool place to retire to if that's not too much tourist. But I don't, I, I don't mean, like touristy area. I like like. I've been thinking in Texas. Texas, but... yeah, that could be it too. Oh yeah, yeah, we know where Lee Summit is. Lee Summit, oh yeah. Up there by Casey. Very close to uh, our, like an hour. Hour. From here. Yeah. And about. Three ish. Three hours. Okay. Pigment day. So I only you art gel to the line like this. So so my line not gonna go anywhere because if I you polish, sometimes it could be a little wavy up here just because if it's heavy then it collapse. So art gel make sure that this line nothing crossed it. Now I'm gonna use pigment base. I'm gonna apply pigment on here. I'm gonna yield the brush to sort of drag it to the edge. It's okay if you put a lot of polish because you're gonna end up dragging it all down anyway. So it's okay if it's a lot up here. But you have when you drag it down, you have to make sure that it's appropriate. Okay. Now drag it down. Hear this? Make sure that it's smooth first. Just one little tinge, give it a little space for the breed. Good. I'm gonna do pigment, so I have to watch out for it. Okay, hear this? I, 
I am gonna take out my burgundy pigment. Oh, it's right here. This is my burgundy pigment. This is what makes this beautiful rosy shape right here. It's like a red, but it's it's not a fire red. It's it's opposite. It's like a blue purple red. It's very nice. <coughs> This color I sell separately because it's not as essential. It's um just part of the one of the rare colors. I just have it because it's pretty. Ooh. The neon set is essential. And then a black pigment also and the white pigment are essential, but the red are just nice to have. I also have fire red pigment too. This one, this one, on the opposite heel is fiery. <laughs> it cannot come to this tone. It's impossible. It's like this or brighter, fierier. This is impossible to become this. So it's opposite red. One is a fire red. Uh, one is a, a scarlet, scarlet red. Okay, so this out. <clears throat> I'm gonna put pigment on here. Now, this gel right here, the nude, that, that, the, that is no wipe, so pigment doesn't stick on this. Pigment will stick onto the white. I'm going to smudge it out. But these are strong, so sometimes it might stain the no wipe a little bit, but not, not anything major. So I'm going to dust it out. It's going to be my palette. And then all this dust that I dip in here, I'm going to knock it off because... I don't want dust to shoot everywhere. Okay, all clean, nice and clean. Now, make sure that my finger is clean. Watch it in, knock it up. Hibiscus. Hibiscus colors? Yes, yes. Hibiscus, yeah. Ben said, not on the floor. Yeah, on the floor, yeah. Sweep it up later. <laughs> or if you want, you can take a paper towel. If you have like a lot of pigment, you can take a paper towel and you can really go crazy. And when you have a lot, like a little left, then you can do it. Then you can do it. Of course, not in your home, but at the nail salon, yes. You Look, have to yeah. vacuum every day anyway. You got burgundy carpet. It's okay. Oh, that's nicer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody footprint. Uh, Bloody footprint. Oh, 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 oh. I need to stop right here. Oh, I go too far. Oh, crazy. We were having too much fun. Go a little crazy. It's okay. I was just chatting, and I, I didn't really... Trying to mask the other nails. Um, white pigment. Brush chappies. <laughs> I was brush happy. I was going crazy, you guys. It's so beautiful, but <laughs> it's not mask the other nail. I'm going to take some white pigment to thin it out. See, it's like a setting powder if you want to look at it that way. Like when you do makeup and you have setting powder. See, sometimes with a pigment that are too potent, it might stand it a little bit that you can see here. Just a light stain, you can just wipe it away. Nothing major. Okay, so now I want to draw leaf, okay, with emerald art gel. So let's take it out. Then with pigment for now. So okay, never mind. Emerald art gel. 
I find it useful to take it out instead of dipping it in. Okay, and I need a 10 millimeter brush. Clean this. Load it. It does look airbrushed. Comment says looks flawlessly airbrushed. Mm -hmm. Plan my leaf. I do want it to be exact. So I have a little doo doo right here for the flower. And then I have one leaf right here. And I have one leaf up here. And then I have a little something right here for the flower. And then I have a little something up here for the flowers. Okay. Now we're ready to paint. Yeah, it is gifted. This is the red is red redding. And I will pour it out as tone. Every rose have its tone. Getting on spray. There we go. Well, thank you, Anthony. Here it is. Make sure that it's equal to this. Okay, good. Now, Kia. This is loves your attention to detail. Thank you. Thank you. Perfection in this. Just that when you practice, you do want to be as perfect as possible. <laughs> when you do on your client, you can shape up a little bit here and there to depend on their, them and the timing and all that. But when you practice, you do want to achieve perfection. You want to be as perfect as possible. Just so you can go through every step. And then when you perform on your client, you can let loose a little bit. Let loose. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use red gel colors. Distribute it up here. My pen and red for the rose. Okay. Oh, I'm going to use a different brush, seven millimeters. Seven millimeters. Okay. Our first flower don't poke out of here too much because i have a plan for it i want it to be like a heart that you can see here like a heart so up here i'm gonna do like red cyan color like right here so it look like a heart so you don't want this flower to poke in, in here too much you want this space in the middle that look like a heart so how much should they charge assuming their work <laughs> is precise and correct to do one nail like that for someone um, if you struggle with charging for prices, um, you can uh, base upon your acrylic set. Uh, for me, <laughs> in Missouri, we charge about fifty, sixty dollar for a full set, so our price is moderate. So with this set, um, the French with this nails, not with this set. So let's say this set is a new set based on a sixty dollar pricing for a whole set. 
if I want to throw in a French tip, typically it's five dollars. Um, but since this French tip is a curved tip, I would say charge an additional. Um, I have four finger like this, so I would say eight dollars <laughs> for the French tip because it's curved, and then you're gonna put on pigment. So let's make let's start a little, like um, I would say five dollars. Two or five dollar depend. So if I charge five dollars uh, with eight dollar, then it's thirteen dollars. And then I start to do art. Art. Let's say about five dollars just for drawing roses, leaf, and everything like that. So now you have about eighteen dollars. And this finger gonna have crystal, so I'm gonna throw in another two dollar just for crystal later on so twenty dollars i am going to use clay dough on this set so with clay dough i will completely jot ten dollars you can jot a little less you can jot like eight dollar if you're really good at it and be fast at it so this now is about um twenty five to thirty dollar now including crystals so if you do um a set it could be a three hundred dollar set Okay, I am gonna stick, stick the rose in. I'm gonna wrap around this, and I'm just gonna stripe it that down and try to avoid the leaf. And of course, your client can look at a set and they can pick and choose. They be like, "Well, I'm not really a rose person, so I'm not really into rose that much." <laughs> But I love your sweet French. Can we do something like that? You'd be like, okay, <clears throat> give her a proper pricing. And you'd be like, well, do you want this pink fade right here? Because your client couldn't tell. But you can. You'd be like, well, this French behind it, you can see a little burgundy fade. Will you want that too? And she'd be like, ooh, can we do purple instead? We're like, no problem. So give her proper pricing on that. And be like, do you want any crystal on this? She'd be like, oh, okay, let's pop a couple crystal on. And there you go, you can skip the rows. So your client can look at a set that you do and she can definitely pick and choose because it's layer design. So she can just she can just say, Well, I don't really like the French tip, it's the sway. Can we do a regular French tip or like an ombre French tip and put the rose on there? You say, Yeah, no problems. Or she can be like, can we just skip the French tip in general and put like roses all over the nails? Oh, that's, that's, that's sexy. I like that. So remember, you can dissect this design in many ways and not just this design. With many of my design, you can dissect it and let your client pick and choose too. Do that too. Especially if someone like uncomfortable with the pride, you don't, you don't make it cheaper. You can just pick up layers. You can just be like, well, if you cannot afford thirty dollar for this, how about we approach fifteen dollars? You know what I mean? You can take up shape up layers. <clears throat> okay, another rose right here. But it's bad to have a uh, to to try to be good enough, so it would draw people into you and select people that will have no problem paying anything because then you can really explore your creative creativity at its fullest kill this 60 seconds okay so when i'm done with that i'm gonna match everything because the rest is play-doh mm -hmm. i'm gonna chew my red play-doh so i'm gonna <clears throat> flash this for the the lady that was wanting the whatsapp group get ready to screenshot Shot. This is how you join the WhatsApps. Special these nails. You get three, two, two, one, one. <laughs> okay, so wait for it, and then we're gonna math this first. Okay, so I am going to map this. <laughs> like this on here.
is that money to be made in nail art or is it just in branding merchandising yes that is big money to be made in nail art but it is a journey to learn and practice before you can make big money so if you worry about money first obviously you're not loving nail art i don't think that's for you yeah i i think you should choose manicure or pedicure uh you wouldn't be able to make as much money at nail art but um I can tell when a person that like if if you were to jump in and love nail art no matter what then that is a career for you but if you worry about money first that is not for you because then you wouldn't spend time to practice you wouldn't spend time to improve yourself that is not a career joy for you unless you're already good at nail art if you're already good at nail art you can just jump right in but I, if you ask that you're not a nail artist yet and you have to spend, I would say, at least six months to a year honing your skill. So that's definitely not a, a path for you. You you can admire it from the distance, but I advise you not to jump into this profession. You have to love it to jump into it. Because if it's just a focus <laughs> on the money, a lot of things you'll see differently and then you won't enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, like just do a quick manicure on 20 bucks, and waste on like 30 minutes to do that. And you try to do it quick and try to do a lot of manicure and pedicure. But you weren't able to chart like three or $400 set. But I really doubt that they will get there anyway because they have to practice. Without practice, they wouldn't even get to a level of three or $400. Um, so that in my um, honest opinion is this industry is not for you. Okay, so I am going to take red Play-Dohs and I'm going to apply in three different places. One, two, three. Get ready. Okay. okay, so I am going to wipe this off. I am using the mixer to pick it up. It's my favorite tool. I have this tool too. Just really depend on the situation. Uh, I pick up using this because it's really hard. And today I'm not gonna use this as much. This is what I use to like smooth it out, but not like if you want it to be really smooth, you have to use alcohol and brushes. So this is like scooping it, molding it in a way. Now, this right here, picking it up, and I am gonna use this engraver to do the rose. Uh, I think I can go a little shorter. And I suggest using something like this. You can find it at Walmart or, you know, like a clear plastic cover like this. You can find it at, at like any local store very easily. I'll pick it up. Now, this one is not a cell level like silicone. Silicone is like cell level very, very quickly. But this is dry. It's not like silicone. So. This is much drier than silicone. You can draw it around. It's not going to settle. Now, it do have 5% cell level. So if it sits there for like an hour, then it will be slowly, slowly settle. But right now, you can just pick it up around. So I use it for like details. So it's soft. Is it sticky? Is, is it sticky? No, not really. It's not sticky. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a tiny bit. And sometimes if you work in a certain um, area where, like if I do a long noodle and leave it really, really skinny, even with a tiny bit of stick in it, it's gonna make, break my noodle. Whenever that happens, I use clear acrylic. Like when you're making dough, when you make bread dough, okay. and whenever it's a little bit like, um, I wouldn't say sticky, but a little bit wettish, I throw like powder and dough in there on the surface, just like a floor surface, just for a non stick surface. You can do the same thing with clear, clear acrylic on this. Well, you look like you're having a lot of fun over here. Yes. Okay, okay let's make it smaller. Right about here. And then this too, and it's so soft. <laughs> <laughs> now, our glow clay though is different. So, for our glow clay though, we have a color because of the glow ingredient in this, it's drier, it's a little harder 
as you can see here, see how hard it is. <laughs> so it's harder, it's much drier. Just like that. So a glow play doh, I never use acrylic ever in it because it it just it's hot like a rock. You know, you still can mold it, but it has zero cell level. I mean it's surface if you want it to be smooth, you have to like take a brush and alcohol and kind of like try to smoothen it out. But just because it's it drier, that doesn't make it generic. I know that a lot of 3D molding clay is really dry, a lot of genetic molding clay. But this one is different. You can tell to the color, you can tell that it's very soft. It's not dry at all. It's just not sticky. But for glow clay though, just because of the ingredient that we put in it, it make it extra dry. But the ingredient is still the same with the primary essential colors. These are not glow. I have a glow color and a essential colors. Okay, so I'm ready to design now. I'm gonna take my fingers and flush this in. I'm gonna take my finger and flush this in. Just tap, tap, tap. <laughs> tap here too. Okay. Now, I'm gonna scoop this. So I'm gonna take the engraver and dig a little hole right here and this finger a little more in here To, oh, I need a Zacto knife. I forgot that part. <laughs> Zacto knife give me a sharper cut. Thank you, Tara. <clears throat> Go around this. And underneath here, let's cut it. Cut one right here. Can you get it a little bit closer? Closer, yes. For the detail. For the details. And if you want, you can use this tool too just to smooth it out. <clears throat> what is the purpose for drawing the rose if you put that on top? Oh, I need a base. I need a base because you don't want awkward movement where you can see any background through this and it wouldn't be effective. You need a solid background. Just like when you apply crystal, you need like a glitter background even though if you cover the entire nail with crystal, you still need a background just in case. So you can work comfortably and not worry about hiding the background since so the background is the same colors. Let me see here, whenever it's good, you can go ahead and freeze it. Turn a little bit right here to leave. Jamie's a lot like you in the, <clears throat> she does her pedicures under the same 
conditions you did. It wasn't so much about making the money, but making the people happy. Yeah, I love doing pedicure. I love giving pedicure. I love, love giving pedicure. How do you do this one? Okay. There you go. And now come to this one. Split this up. Thank you, Marielle. Loves everything you do. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> I just remembered something. What's that? We got to get that list together for the show coming up in California. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I didn't forget it. Just I'm... waiting to see if I have time to do it. Isn't Cindy somewhere? Uh, oh, I think I ran an eight, but they'll probably be back. No, I mean, like, touch you. Like travel to another city or somewhere. Or would I have something st even skinnier, like a needle or something? Second, I work good though. It's nice and sharp. And then, kind of want to brush it up a little bit. What is this? Hopefully, you know, getting ready to take a drink. No, stand right here. Okay. Let's see. Am I happy with everything before I tear? Can I flatten this up a little bit? Can I? Flatten this part a little bit. Do you cure it under the UV lamp? Yes. Done with clay. Yes. It is actually exactly like clay, you guys. How you play with clay is how you play with this. You can mold it, you can scoop it. Okay. Sure, this one is okay. Good. Okay. okay, I'm gonna kill this. Let's see. Thank you. It's so cute. Okay, I am going to do an ombre on this and this. Um, today, I'm feeling like a brush ombre rather than a sponge ombre. I'm going to take pigment base and apply. Mm. Pigment brush. So we will have a question and answer session for anything not related to the design Tino's doing at the end of the live video. I've seen a few questions go by. We're, we're not ignoring it, but it's confusing for the people who watch the videos later on. 
and then keep blending it out always target the edge when you blend don't go back down here just always just target right at the edge clean a little bit always keep your brush clean like this when you do ombre because you spread in the gel you don't want to add any more gel into the brush you want to just spread it out like that so it's nice and perfect you're using yes, your, your, your pigment base for the white? Yes, pigment base. With this right here. Okay. Which is a very strong white. You can put it over black and you, it won't bleed through. Right. Okay. Hot to trot. Hot to trot. <laughs> so you... Yeah. So cute. Okay. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. boom. And you said the roses won't break? The roses? Well, the roses cannot break because it's detailed. It's not thick enough. Now, this clay dough, when you cured it, what happened is for the answer that with the roses break, for this clay dough first, when it's dry, it dry solid, like this. Hear the sound? completely solid now silicone silicone it dries soft it's been when it dry it's flexible so for this roses it cannot break because it's flat it's too solid it's impossible for it to break but if you do like a horn that are sticking out the nail <clears throat> when you use something that are dry and solid it can break you can break it with under the right pressure because it's a it's, it it doesn't absorb impact it resists impact anything that are solid <clears throat> it resists impact so anything that are solid given the right condition you can uh, break in it but something that are flexible nothing can break it like if i do like a horn like like this <clears throat> If I use clay dough for this horn, it's gonna be solid like like a piece of dry acrylic and give it a right condition, you can break up the horn. But silicone are different. See that? Nothing can break it. So if you do something like a rose like this, then I use clay dough because it's detailed. I can and it have very low cell level, only five percent. So I can like engrave this and i can mold it versus silicone within a minute is all blend back in it's, it's very um it's very fluid with clear silicone so clear silicone i use it for detail that are needing to be smooth like this horn all i need to do is roll it out wave a little bit it's all nice and smooth and i cured it so it depends on what you do like if you have a really, really thin pedal that you put it on the flat surface, you cured it, and then you kind of like put it on the nail. If it drays and really delicate, you want to use something that is soft and flexible. Versus when you do in detail like this, when it's like flattish, then you can use clay dough. Like the head right here, it will be diff more difficult for me to use silicone because this head is a lot of detail, a lot of engraving. I have to use clay dough. And then this tail right here and this horn, I use silicone. So it depends on what it is. But as I explaining to you that whenever you don't want it to break, as I say, if it's flat like this, you don't have to worry about breaking. But if it's sticking out the nail, then use something like silicone with dry flexible so you can bend it. If your client can bend it and it really just bounce back to the original position, 
then that would be suitable for it. Okay. But it would take a lot for something solid to be break too. But, but that, that horn that is way too long. I cannot just play though with that horn because that horn literally is longer than the nail itself. It's really long. So for people to wear it, it has to be flexible. It cannot be something solid. Even like charm, like the you metal to do it, I, don't, I still don't trust it. Just because it resists the impact. And it's better for you to use something that absorbs the impact. But that speaking from a level of um, often God now, meaning now that are not just staying on the nail bed, now that are venturing out and all the twists and turns, all the vine poking out the nail, all the feather poking out, that is when you need to use something flexible. But for like something like the angel wing that I did, I still use play those for details. I hope I don't over explain it. No, you explain it perfectly. As a matter of fact, there's a couple comments on how great you explained it. Okay. And thank you, Deborah. It says I admire your work. Very artistic, creative, and exciting. Keep up the great work. I just learned about your work and started following you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dragonfly lady says awesome explanation. Thank you. Thank you. So you're doing great. And great explanation. Yeah. Because I'm not really in a classroom setting, so sometimes I couldn't read people. You know, I couldn't know if what I say coming through or not. That's why I try to listen a little bit. If it se seems confusing, I'll pipe in with the other alternative. Now, if you were to do like, like just an ombre now, you have to be like, like careful. I don't have to be careful because I'm planning to put red rose all over this now. The ombre, it's just a look that I've chosen. I, I just choose that look because it looks good. It's flattering. It's soft. It don't have any harsh line. So that's why I choose an ombre, but it don't have to be like an insanely perfect ombre. So everyone loves the long explanations. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Clementine. Oh, thank you, Lakeitha. This is great explanation. I learned, I've learned what I know from you. Oh, yeah, thank you. I think I contaminate this bottle somehow. There's like debris in here. What bottle was that? Uh, cream nude. Cream nude. Okay, so I'm going to paint it with art gel. Emerald art gel. I already take it out on this palette. I'm going to paint it with a 10 millimeters. This is seven. I'm looking for 10. Thank you. Well, that model has been thrown away or else. So you... Okay, cream nude. Oh, why am I showing that? <laughs> Okay, twirl it around to saturate it and pull it out to slim it down. Um, I plan to have one right here, one right here, and one right here, or vice versa. One right here, one right here, and one right here. So let's do one right here first in the middle. One rose here. And one leaf. Oh my God, I'm just so happy. Okay. One leaf out here. And not a leaf. <clears throat> Whenever I do a design that I did not 
plan ahead, I get a little not doubtful, but uh, anxious to see what it like. <laughs> but whenever I already see the result, then I get very excited. Mm -hmm. Right now, I already know what it looked like at the end. This is an early design spot out. So this is like the ASMR as we're at. <laughs> <laughs> It's a small rose. And so one red dot here, one red dot right here, and give it some leaf. Just one. Just one. It only deserves one leaf. Only deserves one. Down here, let's give it another rose. Just a small one. Like if you look in this stem, I can do it a little more detail, add a little shading, a little light. But I really want this to be something that uh, people can view it at easy. That's why I'm just do with a little red blob. The leaf, I don't really pay much attention to it. Just just so it can be something simple and the only detail you worry about is the clay dough. Should add dimension into it. This design, inspired by back then when we want to do a rose like this what we do is we take nail polish because back in the day we still use nail polish we take like a red we mix it in with a white and then we take a toothpick and we just twirl it around just to make like a rose so see it's like a modern version of that rose that that hideous rose that we did back in the day that we so proud of the, the hideous yeah we like put polish together and we just like tour it around and it doesn't really look realistic but i mean back then it's like 10 years ago it's like oh my god it's amazing it looks like a rose now it's like ew well it was from the five dot flower to the <laughs> back in the days when people not doing a five dot flower they just proud of everything else that mm. it's not five dots now look at that now we have everything is take to make it semi-realistic or pop in or emboss okay so red 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 i already able to tell the finished result so this now i want it to be semi-balanced so this is so romantic so one right here one stem right here and one stem right here my mom my mom when i first get my nail license she like let me show you something that i can't do uh -oh. <laughs> like oh why is it she take out her dot and tool i like girls you're not about to do the fight out flower in my head like mm, i saw one of those people do it at school you're not about to pull out that fight out flower and surely she did <laughs> she'd be like show you she made it so important and then by the time she do it, I was like, oh, <laughs> wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Just because, you know, I like to mess with her. I'm like, oh, my God, that's so cool. You know, this is all I can do. And I pick up my brush, my striper brush, nail polish striper. I whip our roll. She about to faint. She's like, we want to open the, the salon tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, we're about to make bang. <laughs> But the longer I do it, the more I pursue it into the artistry. And sometimes I spend too much of an hour practicing and she just doesn't like it. She's like, why you practice all the time? You're good. Just go home. Just focus more on pedicure and manicure. And just over time, I just get sick of that rushiness. rushiness. Uh, yeah. And then when I leave the shop within like, like four years or so, Pinterest coming out, and that's when people just take nail art extremely serious. Ooh, boy, is she wrong? Well, gifted hands gifted. This is kind of along the lines asked earlier. How long have you been doing? How long have you been a nail tech with 
which we answered already. And did you struggle with your work when you first started? I struggle with people stopping me from doing what I love. Yes. <clears throat> I don't struggle with the art itself. Because as I say, I did not jump into it planning that, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna own my product one day. Or I didn't jump into it and be like, I'm gonna make a lot, a lot of money. I didn't, that's not my intention. I jump into now art because I love doing it. And there's people that would tell me what to do. They'd be like, that's a waste of time, stop doing it. Like that would stop me the whole, the, like cock block, cock block me from nail art. And I find my whole way through with people, not with nail art. I love doing nail art and i'm into it so it doesn't matter if i'm good at it or not eventually i will be good but when i'm practicing of course it's common sense when you practice you should get better and better as time go by so i never struggle really with nail art now sometimes i struggle with idea in the beginning sometimes i went through idea and I like what i need to do i already have that soft but my only real struggle is with people stopping me from doing what i do and tell me what to do. Tell me what they for think is personal. for their own personal greed. They tell me what they think is great. But know that you got this 15 years ago. 15 years ago, people don't pay for nail art. Boy, were they wrong. Now, nail art everywhere. Social media, thank you, yeah, Lord. Like, teach me. <laughs> 15 years ago, people don't care about social media. Not everybody have an iPhone. Back then, we still use flip phone. There is no networking going on. So people doesn't know nail artists exist. You know what? I thought that I was the only one. I thought that I was the only one in the whole wide world who wastes my time with nail art. <laughs> but when Pinterest coming out, I see more of my plan. I see this person do that, this person do this. I see somebody like better than me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, oh my God, there's a whole new world. There's people out there are just like me to do nail art. Fascinating. That's a good song you should make. A whole new world. It's already been taken. Oh, darn it. But yeah, I was, I feel right at home. I feel safe. And who have known that now I'm almost at a million followers? Oh, who have known? To all the people that stopping me now, they still doing $12. Manicure. We don't drink as much coconut water. At any yes, I need. So we, we need to get back into that. We've fallen off some of our uh, habit. We've really, really become gluttonous. I mean, I'm a. Steak eater now. Oh. Since I just find our good steak legs, I'm literally like steak all the time. My cholesterol going crazy, I can tell. <laughs> oh. Oh, and the potatoes. Mm. And the potatoes. Oh, and the green. You know, green beans are healthy. Let me share something with you about steak and potato. One of my friends, she is a Marine, and she she's told me this. She is the information that they get from the government themselves. <laughs> She said that when you eat steak and when you eat potato, what happened is they the combination of potato and uh, red meat, it forms like a gel substance in your gut and it stays in your gut for months. She told me that a long time ago, about five years ago. And we never know that. And that is something that the government educate them in the Marine. And apparently everything is steak and potato. Like McDonald, everything is like burger and French fry, uh, steak and loaded potato, mashed potato. Everything is potato and, and steak. So I think that might be helpful for you to know that. Just in case you don't have any marine friends. Okay, I'm going to clear this. Let me see how it look. Oh. Oh, here this. Oh, this is cute. Sorry, dry.
see it's cover like almost all the ombre but i still do the ombre anyway so because if i do a hot line i have to like try to plan it out through so it don't show the hot line i already have an ombre so i don't care my rose can be anywhere Wow, I just got quickly hungry. After this, I'm going to map everything and start with my play dose. Here this. Okay, this time I'm not putting a lot of play though. I'm trying to go very lightly every time I pass through the red because it makes me nervous. Sometimes, yeah, yeah sometimes red is stainy. Stainy. Yeah. Think about the red shade. Well, this red is not really standing, but you know, something about red. So I'm just cautious every time that I mess with red, I'm cautious. This, this now doesn't have the burgundy shade, but as I say, it's different than the two metal now. You know what does, and this could be also be a hit, just like the pink, lazy pink, uh, because I'm gonna apply like crystal on it. It's gonna, I think that it's gonna also take out. I like them. And you know, I'm it's, not a big. It's romantic. You don't like red. I know you don't like red. Rose. <laughs> Rose, yeah. <laughs> I try not to do any roasted until Valentine. Just because roasted is very popular in the nails world. So I just wanted it to remain special. So I only showed it in like romantic season. Like Valentine, or when it comes like fall, I also like to do rose in the fall. Okay, so play doh time. So, so somebody is cream crackered. Don't know who that could be. Cream cracker. Are, I thought it'd be lint. The uh, play doh is going to be in a bundle. Yes, it's um, going to be in two bundle. One is essential bundle and one is a glow bundle. I split split it up like that, just in case you don't want like the glow and the essential. You can pick and choose. You can buy just one bundle or you can buy all all two. So I, I don't put it in just one bundle because then you're forced to buy the whole sixteen colors. So I divide it into eight color bundle. Both have discount, of course, since it's a bundle, but it make buying easier. People can either buy both bundle or pick and choose. But I suggest that if you want to buy one bundle, you buy the essential bundle, the ones that are not glowing. Just for you to uh, enjoy the whole softness experience. You know, the, the it's soft texture right, right here, but low cell level. That you can enjoy it at its, its max. And the glow bundle, the glow bundle, the texture is very similar to some of the gel that you must already have. Some of the three D gel is like it's like drier. Like you cannot carve this easy. It, it, it you have to be a little tricky on the carving. Since it's just a little bit harder, um, and a little bit drier. But this one you carve so easy. Look at that. And it listen to you, it just stay there. See how, how 
Let me zoom in so you can see. So if you are looking for an experience, you get the non-glow first. Do the glow later. Okay. My nosey. Yeah. So it's 3D, but it's not like, it's not, it's kind of flattish, but it's kind of 3D. I also like this style too. Take a little bit. Mm, Sometimes I forgot because I'm, I didn't dive really deep into this. I just really start messing with it. Um, back in the old day, I I messed with something similar, <laughs> but this one is like really dry. Like I buy it from Mizu, it's like really, really dry. So sometimes I have a hard time sticking it on the nails. And sometimes I have a hard time carving, so I don't use it that much. But I just dabble with this new formula about six months. So I still have more to learn. Like when I apply, I can't, this one apply a little big. So when I carve it, it's pushing into each other's. So this one apply to some small amount and it's easier for me. So I, I just have a couple of troubleshooting to go through. We can go through it together. Go through it together. Family time. So that one, I cover the leaf so I can poke it out to review the leaf a little. And I'm going to cough this side. See that? I'm going to cough this side too. So this is like the back, the rose petal. This one, one flower and this petal is cover it. And now at the end, I like a little rose detail at the end. Yes, Shannara, I've seen those. I didn't show you in your, in your design, designing zone, but she's got two little raccoons. Ah. Yeah. I love and I, and I had a flashback of the scariness behind them because they're so adorable. I love raccoon. I, would, now, I did with wrong wild raccoon before. They are different. They are crazy. They piss off. Oh. But a raccoon pet, oh my god, I think they're so cute. Two little hands. Very smart. They're a little... Just not great things. with a wild raccoon. I have history with them. to decide up what pattern I need to go through here. <laughs> I got the hiccups for some reason. make this a little hollow inside like that. I'm gonna push, push it up. And this, I'm gonna push this up too. So I'm gonna dig into this. So I actually need a little more cutting. I'm gonna dig, dig into it. And let's dig into it with the, the knife. I'm gonna lift, try to lift it up a little bit. I'm gonna put this needle in. I'm gonna like pour inside just to lift it up. <clears throat> Feel like I need a little brush and action going on. Brush and action. Mm 
Okay. Let's see. Okay. Kia. Did you hear about that woman who got arrested because she found a raccoon in a dumpster and set it on fire? Oh my goodness. Wait, a dead raccoon, right? <laughs> or a... I think it's not dead. If it's dead, then it's funny. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's alive and it's cruel, <laughs> is it dead or alive? Now, if she found a dead raccoon and she set it on fire, that would be funny. Low mental illness, but it's funny. <laughs> but the live one was let me not talk about it if it's li alive. But if it's dead, tell me all about it. If it already dead. Oh, it was alive. It was alive? Oh my gosh, you're crazy. That is so like bizarre. She must like, huh? She must be like, like a early serial killer. An early one. An early one. She still have a lot to learn. First, learn not, not to get caught. <laughs> <laughs> she failed her serial killing score. Oh my goodness. She's not ready to move on to humans. Simple murder math, and they couldn't. Like it's a little murder math. You look around, you see no camera. Do it really quick. <laughs> She's not ready for human yet. <laughs> not ready for humans. You gotta work your way up. Yeah. I hope she not end up to become an actual legit serial killer. I hope the raccoon stop her in her way. The failure of the raccoon the failure assassination have stopped her from So <laughs> I've I've never heard this one. Um Tara says to get rid of hiccups, I should try to hiccup. No, you just wanna be scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just want to be like startled, like okay. doing something that. Ah! You stop. Do you stop? See, I thought you just work every ah. time. You you just do something that oh, it doesn't work. It didn't work. It's okay. I trick you in just a second. I, oh, I'm getting ready to eat a stick it, with a knife. They they just cannot be prepared for it. It have to be like. Oh. So spontaneous that it's I'm leaving. I don't like, it's like cop them totally up guard. You know what I mean? You cannot just tell them, Are you ready? No. You just have to carry on the conversation and then just get them right okay, there and then. This. How about this? What's that? They're gone. There's no more hiccups. But I'm gonna continue to do the fake ones. Yeah. So hear me over here, it's just <laughs> uh, is this the last live this evening uh what time is it 8 30s yeah. i'm not gonna answer that yet i'm gonna wait until i'm done with this and i see i done three sets so far but i don't know yeah. it played a on the website will help my decision but it's not on the website yet i'm just doing this because the rest of my set have play-doh in it so uh ER nails the 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 play clay though is not on the website yet. It's not on the website yet. Uh Cindy say um it could be Thursday. And in her way of saying it, it's like it could be earlier, but give me to Thursday. Yeah, she's very good about it. Uh we are having a lot of order right now, like like astronomically big orders. And, and and we're also preparing for a show in Anaheim, California coming up. Well, that's a good thing. It's, it's, it's a good beauty. It's not a bad beauty. It's just that, like, you know, this could be my last slide, but I do really want to help Cindy with some of the orders. So I might go and do some order for her. So she can put the cradle on faster. If I, I tonight, if I can just whip up some orders.
red is just so bright and beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> Um, just to let you know a little bit about what I was thinking, though, the only reason I'm eating this is because I thought you might want to go to the Indian place tonight. I might. Oh, you guys, i just so into this. I don't know if because it's a high that I just, I just have it, and I haven't done any 3D in, like, forever, or it's I don't know. I don't know. I just have to see. I just love it so much. I just find it so therapeutic. Of course, <clears throat> when I do something crazy, <clears throat> like the Capricorn, I'm, I might be a little tense, but I don't know. Actually, the Capricorn kind of easy, too. Um. Just tiny bit it's gonna be flat and remember that it's gonna be flat so when this has got ideas and stuff going on but but we, we can't we can't she was supposed to be she said she was leaving what and i was so that? excited and i was like let me hurry up and like and, design idea and, and and disturb tino so we can get rid of her like like what what type of idea let me see i don't know something about Like she doesn't have mad talent, can't do it herself, you know. My Lord. Yeah, yeah. There's... Oh, here's her question: Dust, PLZ, whatever that means, asked for me, and now look what she did. Tara and I think. Oh, she. Oh right, she got the Oh my goodness. Oh boy, what does Tino think about adding 3D jelly on the roses to represent do? slash raindrops no no because because <clears throat> this throw is too small but that's a wonderful idea okay number one you have to make sure it's matte uh <laughs> this gel if you want it matte you can wipe it up with stone. it will be matte um so make sure it's matte the only thing that i can think of is this background to be a uh, raindrop but it's too light it have to be a little dark too it's a good idea but it's it's not for this set it's for, it could be for another rose set that I'm going to do. If I make the rose bigger, then yes. Uh, uh, for dew drop, I have to have like a big, big rose so you can see the dew drop. Because this, if I put a dew drop here, it will be totally lost because the, the detail is too delicate for it. But it definitely inspired me though <laughs> for something else. <laughs> Just I haven't do dew drop in a while too. And I love doing deal drop too. I like it also. I think it's very, very appealing. First time I seen you do it on the fruit six, seven years ago. Yeah. But you did it with something. It wasn't 3D jelly. That just made it easier. Hello, Indianapolis. You see that move that I just did? I lift it up, like I press it flat like this. But since it's not sticky, you can still lift it. So I lift it up like that. Isn't that cool? It is cool. Also, for everybody paying attention, please follow Next Chapter Lens. Next Chapter Nails Lens. So can <laughs> so she get busy and leave us alone? Right. Oh, goodness, man. <laughs> I love it. Is she still on vacation? She, she's not. Oh, she's not? Yeah. Home. Did you tell her the good news that we're going over to England in uh, June and July this year? Yeah, to meet our friend. Not her, though. Just the other one. <laughs> the better one. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean, honey. That's the one that can mean. sing. The one that can sing? <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't like this flower. I want to make a little more details. That I like it now. Happy 
<laughs> I look at it sticking up too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. I just laughed out loud pretty hard. Probably half the people that are beside the people watching you probably think they're crazy. That is so romantic. Like, <clears throat> uh, Steve, the suggestible heart. I'm going to put red crystal all around this. <laughs> Whenever picture day comes, you'll see me bedazzling this. Um, this finger, let's do something special. <clears throat> let's do a... Thank you. Okay, since nobody really see your thumb, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to do like a hot oh. rose. Okay, so first, I'm going to start right in the corner, right in the center, right here. I'm going to branch out. I'm going to be like a rose here. Okay, maybe, maybe not there. Okay. okay, maybe I do need to plan out a little bit. A rose right here. A rose right here. A rose right here. Give it some stem. Oh, Lisa? Isn't that pretty? I'm not <laughs> sure if I showed him or not. The blue red, rose. Red. Some leaf right here. Some leaf right here. Some leaf right about here. You might be like, what in the world is Tino trying? I give up doing that kind of stuff a long time ago, baby. Be like, what is this? Where, where is it going? You know that that used to give me a lot of enjoyment back when you did nails for clients to watch them try hear, hear your idea, and then you start, and they're like, "What the hell's going on?" But they don't. They have to say anything. Like they, they eye of doubt. The eye of doubt. That's what it was. I can feel it while I'm designing. One designing. The eye of doubt. <laughs> I can feel when the yapping stop. You're like, oh my god, the weather is so good today. Oh my god, I, I have to like go run to Kmart and buy this for my husband. Oh my god, I have so much to do. I have to pick up my kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, when does yapping stop? I can feel that watching me. <clears throat> but I don't say anything neither. Yeah, I know. I know that it's driving them crazy and it's kind of enjoyable in a way. So, and just in love bit and just keep on going. And the moment when <clears throat> I did something that revealed in it, then they start to like back to like being distracted. Right, oh they're no longer worried. Oh my god, you have anything to eat here? I'm so hungry. Like they start the yap and start again. Well, because it might be like blue and gold's the color, and somehow we're looking at hot pink or something at the moment. Right, right. Not knowing where it's going. Mm. Okay, so now I have this beautiful foundation. I'm going to clear this. But what cracked me up is people that have been with me for like 10 years. Still sometimes when I do something new, caught them off guard. Off guard. Do, 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 do. I love you. Oh, you got time to time to smile. You got time to drink. Careful. Yes, yes. I I I, I can't say that Lens and I are frenemies. Mainly because we don't have any enemies at all. All I know is her, her kids have got to be some strong children. Man. Mm -hmm. 
that too right here. One right about here. I'm going to clear this. Oh, Abby, we love you too. Okay. What should I do next? Um, I should what? add stained glass gel in. I want a little shade, like a little fill in the darkness inside, like fill it in with darkness. Like it's a heart. I want to fill it in with darkness. Darkness. like a lot and then i'm gonna blend it just a little bit out here and with emerald art gel maybe adjusting this a little bit here Can I please tell everyone that I love her? Because everyone's sending her hate mail. I don't know if I should do that. Somebody sending Lynn yeah. hate mail? It's not really a new thing. Yes. It's like that thing <laughs> she wants letters. So, like, I mean, everybody sending hate mail. Yes. Even her children. So I like, <laughs> like as a person who doesn't communicate with very many people at all, <laughs> I actually call her once in a great, great while. Nice. Oh man! And endure as much as possible before we. <laughs> you know, actually, I don't know if I want to say that that I love her. I love her accent. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the only reason we talk to her. Is you know, gosh. Sometimes I secretly don't answer some of her questions because I'm like, maybe she'll call and I can hear her voice. I know it's so much better. But we don't need her anymore. I got a couple couple voice recordings of her, so you know, we can just <laughs> But no everyone. I love her accent too. It just if it sounds a little manlier, yeah. it would draw me in a little bit. It... <laughs> too feminine. Too feminine. She's too feminine. <laughs> Yeah, we like her for some reason. You know, when I first met her, I'd be like, man, she probably can do a good manly accent, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> Mad this. <laughs> okay. You know what? Before I math this, I want some twinkles because I don't have any white element here. It's going to left out. I want some white element and then I will math this. Ooh. So with white art gel, I do some uh, twinkle right here. Twinkle. Uh, will this be saved on Insta later? Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. Is it me or is flashing a little bit? It, it's this one here. A little bit. I don't think there's anything we can do. I don't think it's show on screen though. Try that.
still doing it. I don't see it on the screen screen, so. Are you milky gel color? No, I think you Gail get Gail get get I can't Let me say see. it, baby. Oh Go. um Gaylily. Say thank you, Gay Gay Gail. Oh Gail. 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 Sometimes, oh, yeah, I, sometimes yeah. I just shouldn't try. Okay. You know, it's. I think that white on that red contrast is what's making it very eye appealing. Yes, it's very elegant. Um. I'm familiar with this color concept for about 10 years plus. Uh, I'm starting now, 10 years ago, I'm starting now with a French friend like this. Actually, a normal friend, not, not a suede friend. And I use one of my gel, not gel, nail polish, like red nail polish to swirl the rose. And from ever since, I'm attracted to the French look with a pop of red or green. Just a little pop not much florals I'm, I'm attracted to that concept so now and then you will see that color scheme pop up often not often but you know once in a while once in a while oh lynn said twinkles who the f word mm -hmm. puts twinkles with roses p.s this is is why I get hate mail. You know, <laughs> you know what, Lens? Though Tino, what twinkle with roses? You should, you should just discuss it with all of your followers. It's okay to get hate mail. Uh, That's when you know you're doing good. Yeah, embrace it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, unless it's not it's something that people are not used to, you know what I mean. But for Lens, embrace it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, math is okay. All right, Lux, I will make sure that I show him the uh, this bottle is done this time. Is the red base to the flowers a white? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's not no white. All of my gel color are exactly like my pigment base. It has dry inhibition layer for pigments. So oh, it's Gail, thank you. Gail, okay. For some reason, I get tongue-tied sometimes and I think I can say something and I get stuck. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't relate it to it. I, I'm a foreigner, so I have to learn English from, from start to end, so I have no problem. As soon as I heard you roll your R's, I knew I was in trouble. You look excited like you got Indian food in the very back of your mind. It's so freaking romantic. Like, I want to die in this dress, whatever this is. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take a little time to like look and appreciate it before you move on with it. Just like, like see it. yes, yes. Okay. Time for oh um if it if it like sometime if it's too dry, like if you use like the glow one, if it to try to like stick on it. You can put a little ass on, it would stick right on it. Just so you know. Yeah, I like these a lot. And, and I really shouldn't like them with, with, because they're red, like red and they're roses, so. Right. Not that my opinion would matter in the artist world. Uh oh. 
What happened? I got a serious question from Lens. Let me know when I can ask. Hold on, let me check this appointment book. Oh, God. It seemed like it's full. You know what? Um, Thursday at 4.42 a.m. your time is the best time to... Oh, she wants to know when are we starting to interact? So this, our New Year's resolution this year, Lens, is we're playing everything by ear. We we notice Tino gets a little stressed out if he obligates in too many different directions. All right. And what we all should know is we just love Tino for the best he is, and I as his loyal following loving husband have learned a long time ago <laughs> we just let him go and let him be and the less we disturb him the more we silently benefit i haven't do interactive life for a while um i haven't do organized life for a while too but but you've been <laughs> okay like for instance she's asked about the clado 16 times in the last couple weeks and that's actually far on the list of the big list he has to do so if he takes time to do these interactive lives, he's not going to get it done. Yeah. So he's trying to get himself to a point he feels caught up. What happened is, um, <clears throat> so I haven't do interactive life for a while, and I haven't do uh, organized life in a while. And what happened is, uh, so my list is depend on what I prioritize what first, and lately. <clears throat> my other page my big page have hit a very big algorithm so the reason why i kind of neglect the interactive life and the organized life because i have been occupied with video making big time because i'm i'm, I'm on my way to a million followers and after that i can ease out down a little bit so i just have been prioritized video making more just because well, the so it's on now. The, the kits for people. Yeah. That, that'll help. The miniature kits. <clears throat> yeah, I've been prioritizing video making more. Because the interactive lives are real good for um, teaching. But we... we, we it depends on what I'm uh, prioritizing at. But it's not time yet. Right, it's not time yet. Um, it just depends on what I prioritize in what at that moment. <clears throat> and my my live stream is a little weird lately because I will uh, take like uh, three or four day or five day to design <clears throat> making video, and then I would do it. And sometimes I do like art ones. Sometimes I like three or four live at once. Um, because Lately, uh, some of my friends in my circle <clears throat> have been um, <clears throat> posting serious content like like portrait and all that, and it's all fell big time. It's all like dropped like a fish. So it scares me because when it comes to design, just you know, my concept is always if you go really hard at the detail, you're gonna get a hit. Uh, not the case to them. So it's it scare me a little bit that I have to spend more time on thinking about what appropriate for the season. Um, I find out that people are more into something that are easy for them to perform, but I don't want it to be easy and simple. So it has to be easy and clever, uh, things like that. So that's why I spend more time thinking of design rather than when I'm ready to do the live, like everything is ready. I'm just going to art it through art ones. So I'm, I'm being a little more cautious on the content that I put out just because I want to make sure that every piece is, is a hit. Mm, right now I cannot afford one single bad piece. And amazingly that through the last couple of months, I haven't had a bad piece ever, <clears throat> which is great. But the pressure is definitely on. Definitely, the pressure is on. <clears throat> well, and, you know, things like portraits and all that, that only helps certain artists. It's to show up. It's uh, to show off. Portrait, it's to show up. 
which are it's necessary to have an often God <coughs> content now and then, like often God, like let's say like my Capricorn. I mean, the percentage of people that would do this is like one out of a hundred. You know, I mean, just like the percentage of people do portraits is one out of a hundred. It's to show up, but it's necessary because I need content to show up now and then. But I also need to focus on content that are realistic for people to learn and improve in their skills. So that's several approach and I got to do everything. You know what I mean? I don't want to get stuck in a certain things, but it's just portrait have been doing really bad for my fellow uh, friend and uh, rival for my fellow rival. It's just doing horrible for them. So it scared me to death to do portrait right now. Like I plan to do uh, Polar Express in Christmas. I'm going to abandon that plan really quick the moment I see that they drop. Good morning. Ja group. Ja group. Ja group. Shin. Ja group scene. And you know, it might be a temporary thing. <laughs> people's reaction to portrait, but it might be a permanent thing. You just don't know. You don't know where people mind at. They might get tired of it and just like, well, whatever, screw it. Like they might react different when they first see a few portrait, but after years and years of doing, seeing it, keep seeing it and it, it's kind of... they couldn't really do it. They might get over it already. They might be like, oh, I shouldn't even be a trend anymore. So it just really depends on where people mind at. It can affect my design. Not a hundred percent because I always have my root, but I also follow the uh, flow too. Well, I love you no matter what. It's people. It's up to how people interpret it, you know. So that's why sometimes. <clears throat> It might be hard to understand. Sometimes I do something that's absolutely crazy, and sometimes I do something that is so elegant. And the purpose is, it's not really up to how hard or how uh, how it was done, the the working process, but it's how people are into certain thing that month or that season or whatever it is. Hmm. I said, I think the difference, Dino, is that you don't do them often, so you put other content out and in between, so then it's uh, a throwback and appreciated. Yeah, yeah. I try not to get stuck because I don't want a nickname. I don't want, mm, I don't, because people have nickname, you know, Be people that do something consecutively, they have nickname like, oh, this guy, that's the marble artist. Or oh, that's a land work artist. That that is a character artist. You know that people have nickname, and I don't want a nickname. I want to be Tino, the one in only, or something like that. But I don't want to be like, you know, a land work guy or the Chrome guy. Like you know, my love for Chrome, but I don't want to be the Chrome guy. So here I am doing 3D, doing pigments, because I don't want to become a Chrome guy. I hate nickname. I don't want people to give me nickname uh -huh. just because they say something very often. Hear this. <clears throat> now, now, I'm going to use a little bit of emerald uh, left to do some embossed, but just because I'm going to do it on top of top coat and I'm not going to put top coat on it, this emerald needs to be pinned, you guys. This emerald right here, it needs to be pinned for it to survive on top of top coat. Don't add any bulk into it. Tino the Great. <laughs> Tino the Great or something, something acceptable. Not mar marble guy. So I don't I don't like to <laughs> be put into a category. But I know I'm I don't I don't really get stuck with anything really. I, I I'm very diverse and I like to be known for that. Yeah. I like to be known for my diversity. Well, you are very diverse. I don't want people to misunderstood that just because I do something that that's all I do. You know, it's actually it's an embarrassment for a nail artist to be categorized into 
into a, like to be labeled, you know, it's an embarrassment. Okay, kill this. Well, there's definitely not anyone like Oh, I, got, I forgot to kill again. Okay, so with art gel, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my engraver. I'm going to poke it. I'm going to hit it. some dots. Starting from the stem. I work it all the way out. <clears throat> they do look like, like a heart, Shana. Or Shana. This is the heart cluster. It looks like a heart. Or the rose cluster. Mm -hmm. This dot is what I learned to appreciate right about 14 years ago, right when I first familiar with nail art. At that point, I don't have any good material, any good ingredients. Uh, you know, I just use nail polish. So one day I discovered draw this little stem and just doing this little dot upon flower bouquet, uh, bouquet is extremely elegant. And from then on, this is what I'm into. Every time I do dot, I just love it like a bouquet and actually have some more right here just to fill in this little space maybe a leaf or something oh they do look like baby's breath those cute little white dots probably, yeah probably what it is yeah like when you buy a bouquet you have yeah. this little thing i love that thing Actually, yeah, I love it. It's it's like it's dressing up and it's easy to do. It's not hard to do. So, and I like a little twinkle. So it's it's uh give it a white balance because all these have white, mm -hmm. even though this doesn't have really enough white. But as I say, uh, people don't really see the thumb, so I don't care. <laughs> Get this. Oh, oh, I can do something else. What, okay, what okay, scratch that because I'm gonna do like some embossed lace. You okay, so clear acrylic, spoon. Mm, I want that to cure all the way. So I'm going to lace it all around the, 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 the flower. Oh, that could be a... You know, whenever I do the thumb, I go crazy on the thumb because people don't see it often. But sometimes I accidentally make a thumb so pretty that I like, I got to get that thumb to make a whole new different set. Uh, I saw a question on oh. gel and pigment. <laughs> I'm gonna spill on this bottle uh, gel and um, this bottle gel and pigment. What should I buy? So, <clears throat> if you plan to make pigment art, you need to buy pigment base because pigment base adheres pigment very well, but it's white. It's white. So, whatever color you put on, you're gonna see that color at a true form. Like when you put pink on, you see pink all the way. You put purple on you put purple all the way so pigment bay is what you need to start out with if you're interested in working with pigment but all of my other gel color can it here's pigment as well because after the success of pigment base i decided to keep the same formula in all of my colors but you see these colors like if you take pink and you put on red you're not gonna get all pink you're gonna get reddish pink like if you put yellow on red you're gonna get like a warm like orangey yellow so just so you know if you start out you need to start out with white white pigment base and then later on when you buy other color the purpose should be for art and for polishing nail but if you ever put on a red nail and you'd be like i can dust a little purple blend into this know that you can you can use with all of my gel color you can apply pigment on but start out with pigment base first because it's And all of my art gel can apply pigment. Also, all of art gel can apply pigment. Like white art gel, you can apply pigment on it. It also have dry inhibition. 
but it's a painting gel. So unless you plan paint plan to paint like tiny little line, then gel polish does best. So it just depends on what kind of design you do, but always start out white for pigments. Don't ask me why I'm doing. I have no idea. I just know that it's neat, neat white details. But I don't why. I'm still trying to freestyle it. I gotta make a list. So far, I love it. So far, it's beautiful. Maybe one more right here. Maybe I'm two. I'm just looking at it because what if I like it? See, what they don't know is you're in that mode right now where we could oh. be beautiful and then boom, you'll just swipe it all and start over for some yeah. reason. Yeah. Sometimes I get into that mode. It's freak my client now. I know, right? You're like, no, <laughs> that's beautiful. Shut up. Really did. Trying to build my Instagram. Yeah. You are just a byproduct. Well, your nail session is not about you. <laughs> like, how dare you to compliment me when I'm not done? It's not about you. <laughs> I just, it's just your hand. I need your hands. <laughs> yeah, just off the top of your head, do you remember anything I mentioned earlier we needed? No. <laughs> I didn't. Thank you. This is a strange, strange pattern. Never did this before. Fun of it though. It's. it's I will. I don't, I don't know. It's like whimsical. I like. I'm it. not. I'm not gonna say nothing until I, I feel until I see you cure something. I like this pattern a lot. No, it's I like weird. it. Yeah, it's different. It's whimsical. It's whimsical. Yeah. Doily. Doily. <laughs> you hate doilies. Probably will be a part of my track name if I ever become a track queen. Doilies. Like, fight doily or doily romance. Or create a doily, doily or something like that. I like it. Now, sugar. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, okay. The thumb is so fucking beautiful. See, I hate when it happened to me because then I have to make another set. Uh oh. <laughs> I have. I have to make another set where this this heart right here is land right in the middle. Yes, I have to make another set. It is very beautiful. Now it is like beautiful and like oh what? It's you got to throw those other ones away and just so irritable whenever I accidentally make something beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness! I always have my full intention to make the thumb a little bit uglier so it cannot compete with other nail. But there it is, gorgeous as always. Now I have to make another set. Oh, yeah. Tara said the thumb looks like a bridal now, it does. Oh. oh, I can wait until June. June is bridal too. See, now it's bridal. Now it inspired me a whole different way. Now I need to make like at least 10 bridal now just because oh, I'm into that well, mood. You know, actually, beautiful. at some point, yeah, you ought to consider doing like maybe a 10 day stretch of different variety. Bridal nails, uh -huh. and that way they'll have a section they can go to. Because I, I probably get it. It just depends on how bored I get with it. 
<laughs> I get more easy, so I need to switch it up. Now, if it's odd gel, so beware. Just because it takes a long time to dry, that doesn't mean that you can uh, put it in the machine. It's the best if you have more than one nail, so you can just um, do it in between. Oh, you got a lot of wonderful, wonderful comments. Thank you. You should tell everyone universal, I love you all. I love you. Thank you. Except for that Thank one you. person. For all the wonderful comments. <laughs> oh, it, it, right I on. like com I like compliment. <clears throat> when I grow up, I, I don't get a lot of compliment from my family or my friends. My art is sort of always kind of <clears throat> invisible just because in from Vietnam, my my parents think that, you know, pursuing art is a poor choice because it's only for poor people, you know, because art in Vietnam, everybody is, is very tricky with their fingers. So art is not really a thing in a country like that where everybody has potential to be an artist, you know. But when I come to America, my art was being celebrated. You're like, you're making money on the street corner. <clears throat> and that's when I started getting all the compliments that I, I really never get used to it. I'm like, wow. That's when I actually recognize that it's sort of different. My art sort of, it's not something everybody can do. Well, before I thought that it's just something that Everyone. you can do, you know. I mean, it's just a little drawing. Everybody can do that. I just didn't know that it's, it's special, that somebody doesn't know where to start out with, you know, it's, it's, I love it. It's quite a journey. And let me see. I'm grateful I've gotten oh, to be here we go. Beautiful set with the extra pretty thumbs. <clears throat> Nibby says, lots of my friends are from Vietnam. They cook great. That's another thing. Another thing. Gino does fantastic. I'm very good with my food. I'm very good with my food. Uh, I didn't choose to pursue it just because I have too too much in my list. But I'm a very gifted um, uh, tailor. I know how to make tailor pattern very well. And I'm a very good, good cook. Like, it's really good. You know, I've not seen too, too many things that you don't do way beyond over-execution. Maybe because the thing that I'm not good at and not interested in, I choose not to do it. Yeah. Like car, like I, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't what explained for me, something about car the other day. And I was like, I was like, at some point there's too much information. I don't want to waste my brain space with vehicle. So I automatically tune myself out just because I'm not interested in car. So whatever I do. But, but you asked. Yes, I, I did. <clears throat> I asked because I expect the answer to be very short, you know. I didn't know that I had a whole history in in uh, Odyssey and I, I took S2KYZ model 15, 2049, something like that. 1949 original model, factory exclusive. I like, I don't want, no. <laughs> To me, a car is a car. Don't tell me about model name. It made me anxious. Such a depend on why I want to pursue it. Here we go. This is our look today. I love, love, love this look. Today we done this look. Yes, I love this look. I I did this today. I did this today. Which doesn't love this. He said he's gonna go viral. He loved this. But, oh, well, I don't know how well they can see the embossedness of it, but it really looks desirable. It's one of those touchy It's looks edible. 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 Yeah, it, it definitely is a power set, but oh, something about this color choice. It's just so elegant and so fancy. And yes, I, the thumb have made me a little envious. Um. Just because it's right in the thumb, because that's such a good idea. 
I really want to take time and make the not, whole not the set. I just cannot make it too close together because people don't want, I don't want people to be like, oh, Tina, don't you have something similar like a few days ago? I hate that. So I have to space it out at least like two weeks. At least two. <laughs> Like this, and then two weeks later is this. write it down because we forget. Oh, uh, when I post, I study the, the, the order of my post very aggressively. I'm not going to forget it. And, and the one thing that I love about this is this burgundy blend. It just gives it a little certain subtleness that, that I love. So this set, the color Joy is on porn. I love this set. This set. Not this one. This is another set. You said I love them all, but the roses heart. It's a definitely a winner. Yeah. It's just so freaking elegant that if I want to do another set, I have to split it in two. One on the middle finger, one on the ring finger. But then what? On the rest? It has to be different on the rest. And there I go, another set. I just hate that when I'm too easily inspired and don't have enough time to do all of it. Oh, poor you. Why all this idea to come rushing in? Well, write it, you gotta write them down and we'll forget. Can no, you the, show the, uh, uh, go, go ahead, go ahead. Can you show the horns, horny set, please? The horny set I haven't done yet. You mean the porn hub set? Um, no, the horn. horn. Oh, the, 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 the Capricorn. Capricorn. Oh, not the porn hub. Okay. <laughs> um, so this is my Capricorn set. This is a functional set. Are you silicone so it's functional just so you know that's the whole reason why i have silicone first i choose to have silicone first because whenever you do oven gas thing like this i want to introduce you to the to a uh material that can help make it last you know what i mean on this back on uh and then my naughty set with the color is a little soft. I'm just a little leery about this color scheme. So I already make a video. I will hate to get rid of it. So I don't know. Save it for later. Okay, I'm gonna be up live. I'm gonna go eat. Um let's it be the end of tonight and tomorrow I I will start digging more um clay doh set. And tomorrow is Wednesday, right? Yes. So that would be close to when it can be on the website. So bye bye, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. And are you playing with that? Oh, oh my God. There we go. Oh. He asked me, am, am I playing with my nipple? I almost answered because I thought it was a serious question. So, my nipple is over here. Is not here. Quick, how about a Chinese New Year one? Too late for it. Too late. Wait. It's not too it's late. It's not too late. Chinese New Year in February. Oh, I still have time to do the dragon. Oh. I thought that it's too late. It's just American New Year. Chinese New Year, I still have time. Yes. Okay, I'm going to remember it so I can do the dragon. Bye-bye, everyone. i see you later. i see you again tomorrow. I will post it right away. Give me three, about three minutes. And I will see you later. Thank you for joining me today. Bye, love in 313. Bye-bye. Take care for everything. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Tara. Thank you, Maria. Bye, Linz. Okay.